Hey guys, welcome back to Cheesy Crafts. So, I am going to be, I'm actually, you guys know at my kitchen table, and this is my mantle. I know it's kind of like, I don't know, hard, col hard colors may not be easy on the eyes to look at, but I apologize for that. I actually have my glass mat out here because I've been doing like Christmas projects. You guys have already seen the video that I uploaded that was an easy dollar store Prima flowers um, DIY Christmas gift. That one was a little bit more like on the girly side for girls. Um, they may want to have that in their desk or at their offices or on the wall. So I wanted to make a video that was going to be an easy Christmas DIY but geared towards the men in our families or friends right so we're going to be using our stamping up gift bag because we're going to be creating our own gift bags out of paper um before i do this though i am going to search through my leftover christmas paper that i've had from previous projects or throughout the years this used to be a paper packet and this is all i have left so I'm going to use, um, just sort through here. Obviously I can't use, I mean you could use these, but I'm going to save these for tags. So I'll put that aside. Um, I have this one, this, and then this one has this kind of focus center here. So I'll probably not use these because we're going to be cutting that. And then this one, it has the focus here, so I'm not going to be using that one neither. And then, oh, this one's really pretty. Um, We'll put that one away. So we'll be using these. I'm going to be making some reds and some, uh, like a uh, blue theme Christmas, and then like the traditional red and greens and stuff like that. So the first thing I want to do is move that aside. I'm going to bring my cut paper cutter over. And I am going to cut these 12 by 12 pages into an 11 by 7 and a half. Let me see. And off camera, I'm going to do the other ones just so you guys don't sit here and listen to the cutter but we want a 11 by seven and a half off camera i've trimmed pretty much all of these so now that i have um the paper trimmed to the size i am going to bring over my stamping up um gift bag punch board Okay, so the first thing is we want the paper to be lengthwise, the biggest. So we want to, there's a start, I don't know if you guys can see, there's this line right here, that's your starting point. So you're going to go and you're going to punch it. Okay, now this size is going to be side one or the bigger size. What we wanna do is we want, there's a horizontal line down here, so you wanna obviously trace that line and don't do it so hard that you end up freaking cutting the paper. That is no use. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna start with this one. Okay, so bringing over I'm bringing over my Stamping Up gift bag punch board. I've already cut my paper to size. I want the longest side of your paper to be going this way. So the um, 11 inches is gonna be, I guess, upright, if that's a way to describe it. And I'm lining up my paper to the starting line. I am going to punch it and then because I want my bags to be a medium size I am going to see right here the M I am just going to line that up all the way down 
and then there's a horizontal line that goes this way so I'm gonna bring that over to there so now that I've done that I am going to move this line that was the medium line to the starting now you can't see the line because obviously your paper is covering it up but that's why you have this little I don't know if you guys could see this little arrow right here line up your um, the line that you just made which was the medium line it up to that and then punch a hole now this time we're going to again bring the horizontal line down but we're also going to do the lines that are around this tri triangle right here so i'm coming this way and then i'm going this way to create the triangle here there's also a side and you're going to bring that down uh, easy don't do it so hard because I've done it hard enough where I know you guys can't see it in camera right now but I've actually cut the paper so we got to be careful with that now this is going to create the fold on the side this right here so right here it says side two that is the line that you use so that they're even and I'm just going to do it carefully one more time okay so now we're gonna repeat the steps all over again this line that I just did it's now gonna become your starting point so you bring it back over here line it up to that little I don't know the point I'm gonna call it the point hole punch it and now we're creating this side which should be your bigger side the first one so once again I'm doing a medium size bag so I'm just going to score it on the M and one of my child is coming down the steps while I'm filming so just be easy honey <laughs> so I'm scored on the medium line again and now I'm going to bring the scoring to the horizontal so what it, in essence what I'm creating is the horizontal line slowly each time gets to be created all the way across the end the edge of the paper and horizontal line medium line so now we're going to use that medium line that we were just at and line it back up into the point which is the starting point we're going to create the punch bring the horizontal line all the way down to the last bit of the paper and we're going to repeat the triangle because this is the other fold okay now that the triangle is done don't forget to go down the center of the triangle and we're going to come back where it says side two and create and create that scoring line right there okay so now you bring this line that we just did back to the starting point hole punch it and you're gonna end up with this funny looking tab so normally what I do here because this is gonna be your fold I just cut it like in an angle move that aside and this is going to be what gets folded over does that make sense like the tab where your adhesive goes to secure it to this to the this side okay so now what we want to do is just honestly fold all the scoring lines make sure they're easy to work with when it's time to adhere everything gonna do all the sides of course I'm just folding the lines if you're like wondering what the heck I'm doing now for these the triangle is you're not gonna be able to score it I mean to fold it all the way so as long as you do just a little bit it would automatically start working for you once you put your box together or it will all come together once you do that so let me fold this one that's going to be the side 
fold that and then fold it a little bit this way like that to make like a, a little triangle right here okay so before we move any further I wanted to add a little bit of decoration to the bags of course they're pretty as they are by themselves so you're going to um because I forgot that you also have a reverse uh, punch right here to create the holes for your bow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my punch board this way. And I am going to line up the very first scoring line right here to this line right here, which is the L. So I'm going to line it up there and just punch two holes and it creates the holes for your bow and then I'm going to scoot it over and I'm going to line up the very first score line from here which is one two three four the fourth score line I'm going to line it up in the same spot which is the L and it should line up with this one right here and to hole punch and now when you make your bags the um, the holes will line up perfectly with each other so now you're officially done with this we can move that to the side let's use this one and we're just gonna leave it as it is maybe put a little bit here and we're going to put him in the center Okay, and then for this side, I normally like like a, a sentiment to go with it. Let's do a, let's do the cold outside, warm inside. And we'll put that right there on the center. Okay, so now that we've done that, it's time to adhere our box. I've had these for a while and I need to use these so I am going to bring some of that some of these stickers on the side and that way you'll bring a little bit of the blue over here as well okay so now we're gonna put every, the our gift bag together this is also a great idea that you could do for little kids like if my daughter, she hasn't mentioned it, but if she decides that she wants to do, you know, something for her classmates, this is like an easy, easy gift, thoughtful, and make sure it's folded correctly. Let's see. I'm trying to line it up. very inexpensive i feel like because you know why you guys we could fill these up with um mint um we mince mint we can fill these up with mints we can fill them up with um i don't know what those candies are called but they're like a hard candy that's like red and white circled around i don't know what they're I, they're not called mints but we could fill them up with mints. We could fill them up with just one bar of chocolate. We could fill it up with um, the Lifesaver mint uh, flavors as well. Or just like a bunch of um, Christmas candy that would be perfect for a kid's gift bag, right? Well, they don't look that manly, but you know what? Who cares? Um, I think I am going to add um, like one chocolate bar, like snicker bar or you know if I wanted to take advantage and just um, I'm trying to rip that so that it, I could put a little bit of adhesive on the edges but I feel like if I go to Sam's and I buy like a big bag of Christmas the snack size chocolate you could fill that these up with that and that would be good I mean it's something simple you know it's something simple um, 
just to let somebody know that, hey, I was thinking of you this Christmas. Hopefully they appreciate it. Um, just pressing down on the inside so that all those sides adhere right here. And that is going to, well, let's add some ribbon. Obviously it's empty, you guys. But let's use the last of this ribbon because I don't have a lot. Like that was legit the rest of it. Um, let me see what was I saying because I completely forgot. Um, I don't know. It's just I forgot. My, I just woof, lost my train of thought. But these are just like small, inexpensive gifts. I feel that you could. Like I said, do for a, your child's classmates or, um, you know, like my dad, my brothers, my co-workers, like just a small gift. You could do this for girls too. I'm just thinking because I already did like a craft for the girls. I figured I'll do something that could be simple for the guys. So this is a gift bag. That's what it looks like. Mike was out and about and he was kind enough to bring me some of the dollar store straight mints and also the Andes, 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 Ains, I have no idea how to pronounce it. But these chocolate packages that are of course at the dollar store as well. So I just wanted to show you right to complete the the gift this is just of course one I've previously made and now we're just going to open the bags and put some in there with a few chocolate Maybe a few more. And that is going to officially, now if I can make a pretty bow, and that is going to officially complete the gift idea. What do you guys think? Very simple. Listen, I know it was very inexpensive, okay? And if you give it to somebody and they don't appreciate it, they better not be on your life anyway. So it's the thought that counts. I truly believe that. And so I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you do get an idea to do something like this. Thank you so much for all the support. And we'll see you soon. Have a good one.